The final of the Stephen Gallagher Foundation National Match Play Championship for 2022 was held under sunny blue skies at Castle Park Golf Club near Gifford. Cameron Muckerjee was first to tee off in the final from Gullen and he was up against Jake Johnston from Royal Burgess. And there was no hanging about from the golfers as they teed off over the water on the par 5 opening first hole. Cameron Muckerjee holding this putt for a birdie just to get a half. Ideal conditions for low scoring as we move down to the second and once again Cameron Muckerjee had a similar length of putt for birdie and this time it was good enough to win the hole and an early one hole lead for last year's under 14 Scottish champion. Down onto the par 3 third 185 yards and Jake Johnston finding the middle of the green again with his approach. Now Cameron had found a bunker off the tee and this is where he come out to. Very difficult to stop the ball anywhere on this firm sun-baked course. He could only roll up his par attempt to the side of the hole. And could Jake Johnson strike back and level the match after three? Well, he'd ran on his birdie putt just a touch to that awkward length and the ball just curving away to the left. We'd have to settle for a half. Cameron Muckerjee still one up as they headed down onto the fourth. Good drives again from the boys. This was Jake's approach. As the sun broke through the mist. Landing it again nicely into the middle of the green, not too far from the hole. But unfortunately, it looked like Jake's putter was stone cold and he would lose that hole to go two down. Up at the fifth, Cameron had to chip on for the side of the green and hold that putt for a par just for a half. Still to the difference, but he would win the sixth. And he was three up by the time the golfers reached the par three seventh. Well, there was no problem with driving and irons for Jake Johnson. Once again, a beautiful approach here at the par 3 7th, but it was only good enough for a half. Still three down as the golfers reached the ninth. Another par 5, easily reached. In fact, distance wasn't the problem here, it was stopping the ball. Jake, nicely on. He would have that for Eagle. Cameron once again missing the green. Just in the green side bunker. He would knock it up. To about 8 feet away. He couldn't quite convert for his birdie. Which meant that when Jake. Rolled that up. He did see it in. And he managed to get a hole back. Cameron Muckerjee 2 up at the turn. On to the 10th. And this is Cameron's approach. What a beautiful shot. Setting up another good birdie opportunity. Jake was slightly further away with his approach. This was his birdie attempt to put the pressure on. After winning the ninth and beginning to get the pace of the greens. The birdie attempt just rolling up to the side though. And the tenth would be halved with pars and that was the case at the 11th before moving on to the par 3 12th so Cameron Muckerjee still 2 up a tough par 3 this 170 yards straight uphill but nicely negotiated again Jake Johnson good with the irons solid with his approach play Cameron coming in just a little bit higher and rolling round, catching the contours there, and a very nice tee shot. It was the same old story, unfortunately, for Jake Johnston. Cameron would win the 12th with a par, and he was now three up as they headed down 13. The ball just rolling into the first cut for Cameron with his drive. This his approach. Not the longest par four, 350 yards, but a little bit tricky. With the bunkers, as Jake Johnson found with his drive, now under pressure, three down, 
on the 14th in the bunker. But a great shot out the sand. Jake hitting his irons well as they get down to the green. This was Cameron's birdie attempt. Jake had just rolled his up to the side of the hole, so he had this to go four ahead. Just missing on the low side, but still three up with five to play as players and spectators made their way down the 14th. Both players are driven into the semi-rough on the right. Difficult to know what the ball's going to do out a lie like that, but Jake Johnson judged it very nicely indeed. Again, good approach play. Well, what could Cameron do? He was just a little bit closer. Well, similar drives, similar approaches. It really was just the putting that was separating these players. And, uh, well, it was only mid-morning, but it was pretty hot out there. Now, Cameron missed his birdie. Jake really needed to see this in if he was going to make any sort of comeback. But just missing on the low side. Cameron, three up. With only four holes to play now. As he moved up onto the 15th. Now, Cameron had hit a nice drive. And a decent approach, stopping the ball well. But Jake Johnson, for once, had been in all sorts of problems away down the left-hand side of the hole. This was his fourth shot. And even then, he had to play up over the bunker, awkward. Uh, well, he was needing some sort of miracle now, really. Referee Ian, well, he might not just be reading out the score, but maybe the result at the end of this hole. Cameron with two putts to be sure of the victory. Uncharacteristically, leaving his first putt short. Well, Jake Johnson would need to hold his putt. Cameron would need to miss to see this game carry on. It was asking a lot. He really hadn't hold anything all morning, Jake. Despite some nice approach play. And the Lothian's boys champion would not be adding to his title haul this week. His putt for a five just missing. Which meant that Cameron once again had two putts to win. The Stephen Gallagher Foundation Match Play Championship. One was all that was needed. A very solid performance there from Cameron Mukherjee. And a well-deserved victory after a long week here under the sun at Castle Park. I played Cam Keneal in the second round. I won on the 19th hole. But then he goes, so that was quite a tough one. And then uh, I played Ryan Gallagher. That was also a tight match. I won that on the last. I was one down with two to play. And then um, yesterday afternoon, Kieran Gribble. It's, um, that was quite a tough match, but I'd say that's what, the one I probably played the best in. And then this morning, obviously, Jake. Uh, I putted really well. Put putted the best I putted all week. I think it was just putting that separated us. I made I made quite a lot. I needed a few unlucky lip outs. And yeah, it just was my day today, I guess. The course has been in great condition, and the weather's been really good all week. Best I've ever, well, the best weather ever in Castle Park, I'd say. I love match play. I obviously got to the final in the Scottish Under-18s, so it was uh, nice to win something this year.